Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 1st. Let's get going. Kazushi seems a little off today, so I had to practice in hopes of snapping him out of his funk. I don't see him at practice though, so I decide to head home and run into him at the gate. He also tells me he went to the hospital today at his mom's insistence. He runs off and I head back to the dorm. At the dorm, we gather around the table and listen to Junpei tell ghost stories. Good evening! Welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. He tells some weird story about the girl who collapsed the other day. I don't know, I kinda zoned out when he started trying to scare Yukari. Akihiko manages to get a chuckle out of me. Just make sure you sleep with one eye open. And I head off to Mandragora before heading to bed. I have this weird nightmare about the coming full moon, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 2nd. Let's get going. In class, we listened to some surprisingly hilarious ghost stories. After hanging with Kenji, Junpei asks to go to Tartarus, and I figure now is as good a time as any to get to the next roadblock. We start the fight with the tables, but it's a tricky one, as they're weak to ice, but use fire attacks. I abuse the press turn mechanic and give them stun lock for basically the whole fight with just Jack Frost and Bufu. On the way to the next boss, I encounter a treasure hand and demolish it for free money. Let's just ignore the fact that this wasn't my first treasure hand that I've encountered. I figure since no one is tired, I should at least attempt the next boss, and it wipes us turn one with Magarula. I do some looking through the compendium, and I make Chimera for the Endurance instead of anything that resists wind, because I want Pyrojack. After landing an insane amount of crits, I mean look at how many crits I landed, we win the fight, and make our way to the dead end and call it. Welcome to Persona Every Day, today's June 3rd, let's get going. Yuko comes up to me at lunch and asks if I'm available, and yes, yes, Yuko, I'm available. He tells me about a drunkard monk that hangs out at Club Escapade, so I have something to do this week besides the coming full moon. Yuko is short and has a hard time keeping up, so I put the motherfucking moves on her and hold her hand. She blushes and says we aren't dating yet. The little kid runs into her and complains about the sixth graders who are using the playground and won't leave unless they lose the race. Yuko decides to sneak the kids into the high school field for some running practice, and then teaches the kid how to zoom. Woo! Afterwards, I head to the mall and sell some stuff again, and then play the quiz game and head home. My package came from Tanaka, and Kazushi calls and wants to make plans for Sunday. I study before heading to bed. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 4th. Let's get going. At lunch, Kenji walks up to me, but I honestly don't have the energy for this today. Kaz comes up too, so I guess I'm heading to kendo practice today. At practice, Kaz is missing again, so I go looking for him and find him laid out in front of the lockers. Apparently he was tying his shoe and fell over, but I don't believe him. After school, I head to Club Escapade to find that monk Yuko mentioned, and get put on a side quest to take orders for the barman. I complete the mission and secure the monk some brandy, and he old mansplains to me about his son being a delinquent. I reluctantly form a bond with him. At home, Yuko calls and asks if I have plans, which I unfortunately do already with Kazushi. Fuck this guy, I'm going to bed. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 5th. Let's get going. Kazushi says he's going to practice today, but I decide against going, as I'm busy with Junpei's stupid ghost story. Yukari says we were supposed to gather information this week, but I've been too busy hanging with Yuko. I head to student council after class, and Hidetoshi is nowhere to be found. After doing some light paperwork, I leave and run into him, and stop him from getting his mugs smashed in. At the dorm, Yukari reveals she's been doing some investigating, and says that tomorrow we're heading to a dangerous part of town to do some field research. I get some coffee and sleep to end the day. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 6th. Let's get going. Since we're busy tonight, I take it easy and chillax with Yuko after class. Yukari says it's time to go, but I genuinely think we should have at least changed clothes. After Junpei confesses he's afraid of bats, we make our way to the dank alleyway. 
Immediately, I'm vindicated, as we get recognized as high school students by the punks. Yukari decides to grow a pair and insult the nice gang members. We'll post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Joke's on you, her dad's dead. After a weirdly flattering compliment, he called me pretty. Akihiko's friend shows up to save the day. He uses headbutt, which is super effective, and then drops the bomb on us. It was all just a rumor, and the girls that were found were bullying Fuka, and Fuka might be dead, and that's why she's been missing. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 7th. Let's get going. Not much to talk about today, as Sundays are usually reserved for some R&R &R from school. I did make plans with Kazushi though, and he almost gets into a fight at the arcade. I guess he's a little more hot-headed than I thought. After hanging out with him, I head back to the arcade and get a fortune drawn to raise Jack Frost's magic stat, then call it a night in preparation for tomorrow's full moon. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 8th, and it's a full moon. We start the day off by interrogating Ikota sensei and we find out he knew Fuku was missing the whole time. He only hid it for his career. I agree with Mitsuru. How despicable! We make a plan to enter Tartarus from the gym tonight to try to save Fuku. We sneak into the school and make a great decision of splitting up the party to search instead of sticking together. We wouldn't have helped anyway as we were immediately split up. I quickly regroup with Akihiko and Junpei and meet Fuku when we get a report of Mitsuru being attacked. With the Gangoro all here, Fuku awakens her persona to protect her bully. For real? Fuku shows us that one of the bosses is weak to physical, while one is weak to special, so we quickly dispatch them with one small hiccup. I level up to 14 and end the day after saving Fuka. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 9th. Let's get going. Kenji wants to talk, and I could go for ramen, so we go to leave school. He stops us at the gate and says he'll have to pass on the ramen today because he has cram school. Who are you and what have you done with Kenji? He says Miss Kano told him he's a loser if he doesn't get into a good college. Do I sense a Kenji redemption arc? After heading back to the dorm, I found out the antique shop that has been closed is finally open. They allow me to fuse personas into weapons to create unique gear, which will be great in the future, but right now is a little useless. Instead, I fuse Pyrojack. Now with access to the Jack Bros, I hit karaoke and sleep, as I'm feeling a little under the weather. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 10th. Let's get going. In Japanese history class, we get a neat lecture about how the teacher's bored and wants to teach about the samurai. After school, me and Yuko get some takoyaki, and I head back home. It's a relatively slow day, as Mitsuru and Akihiko are visiting Fuku in the hospital. So, I hit up the arcade and get a little bit smarter before studying at home. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 11th. Let's get going. Kenji wants to talk, and apparently it's about something serious this time. During class, I get a text from Akihiko saying that Fuka is coming to the dorms tonight to talk about joining us, so I make sure to cut my time with Kenji today short. Speaking of Kenji, now that he's hot, I make some time for him, but no amount of looks can get me past a bad personality. He says he's going to marry Miss Kano when he graduates. I'm getting some domestic girlfriend vibes, and making me the chubby friend with no love life is not something I'm happy about, so I quickly head back to the dorm. We all have a meeting, and Fuka decides to join us. We cut the meeting and I go do my usual karaoke, but not before leveling up my courage. I make some plans with Yuko for Sunday and study a bit before bed. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 12th. Let's get going. Fuka's back at school, and she has a new friend. That gyaot is alright in my book. After class, I head to Edogawa, since I'm not feeling so hot. And again, it does nothing. I buy a new accessory and run into this weird chubby kid who asks me a bunch of questions about food. Some strange Yakuza type comes up and starts questioning him, so he hides behind me and then forms a bond with me. I head back to the dorm Sup, dude? and find out the girls are busy tonight prepping for Fuka. So I head to game panic for a bit and call it a night. 
In my nightmares, I befriend my sleep paralysis demon, and also form a bond with him. Welcome to Persona Every Day, today's June 13th, let's get going. Chihiro tries her hardest to ask me to walk home together, so I pity her. We get back to my place before she tells me she lives in the other direction. While she may be a little high strung, I think she's got a good heart, so I form a bond with her. Back at the dorm, Fuka's finally here. Hi, how was your day? Instead of celebrating by going to Tartarus, I take a chill day and get some gaming and sleeping in. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 14th. Let's get going. I hang out with Yuko, and she apologizes for dragging me into her coaching business. It doesn't matter much to me because it's Tartarus time. I equip everyone and finally get to use Jack Brothers. We make it to Arca Part 2, and immediately get shit on by some dice. After a little grinding, I accidentally pull a card with a skull on it, and get jump scared by the Reaper. I make it to Floor 47 and get to fight the Beatles, who thankfully are weak to electricity. We make quick work of them. I also die a little bit after this. And I forget to save. Anyway, I hit level 17 and call it quits early due to demotivation. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 15th. Let's get going. During lunch, my man comes up to me and says he wants to get food. Miss Toriyumi calls on me in class, and luckily I speak enough English to know the answer is and. I had to practice today, and Kaz dipped again. Yuko comes up and tells me Kaz said to meet at the station, so I head there and find him sitting on the steps. He seems a bit dejected, and he tells me his hamstring's being torn apart. He also tells me the reason he's been trying so hard is for his five-year-old nephew who can't walk due to an accident. After gaining a huge amount of respect for Kazushi, I do my usual karaoke and study after school. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 16th. Let's get going. Mitsuru stops me on my way into school and lets me know we can go to Tartarus without her. This is great news, because if Mitsuru is sick or, god forbid, Akihiko's hurt, we can still explore. At lunch, Chihiro comes up to me all awkward, making it super obvious she likes me. I figure, what the heck, I'll hang out with her after school. After being reminded that the old couples exist, I notice Chihiro has some big self-esteem issue, but she lightens up when I mention I read manga. She asks if she's boring to hang out with, and I say I don't care, partially because I'm Daffinator. If you haven't subscribed to him for some spicy persona memes, go do that now. Since Yukari's sick, I figure it's time for the usual karaoke. I get a call from Kenji when I get back to the dorm, but I'm too busy for him. Busy sleeping? Welcome to Persona Every Day, today's June 17th, let's get going. I hear a rumor about some clubs recruiting, namely music, art, and photography. I'm super interested in these extracurriculars, but first I have to learn about magic from Etagawa. What even is this class? After my weird magic learning, I check out each of the clubs, and decide I'm going to join the art club. I'm thoroughly surprised to see Fuka talking to the club head. He introduces himself. Hey y'all, Scott here. And I form a bond with this YouTuber. Afterwards, I hit the same old, same old karaoke and sleep combo. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 18th. Let's get going. During lunch, both Chihiro and Scott the Waz come up to me and want to hang out. But instead, I decide to do my damnedest to get Kenji's link over with. Thankfully, it's a nothing burger day, so I can just head straight to the tartar section. I figure today's a great day to clear some of Elizabeth's objectives that I've been given. I haven't talked about these much as I've just knocked them out as they come, but most of them revolve around defeating specific enemies in the different sections of Tartarus. Apparently I had already completed the Lustful Snake objective through regular grinding, 
but I had to go hunt for a treasure hand, again, to get the steel medal. I take a few new objectives too, like performing the fusion spell Justice using Angel and Archangel, and then die to what seems like my 60th death to a crit. I fuse a Valkyrie that knows Tarukaja, and because my bond with Yuko is so high, it learns Auto Suku, an insanely good skill. I realize I have two bronze figurines already, so I spend what feels like forever searching for these dice enemies to drop them. I hit level 19, and end the day by completing 5 requests. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 19th. Let's get going. At lunch, Kenji reminds me he exists, but right now I've got more important things to attend to, like the goth lolly this random classmate mentioned seeing at the station. I search, but unfortunately I can't fulfill my degenerate quota for the day, so I opt to buy a new set of armor and sell some tartar spoils, before ultimately realizing Kenji's having serious issues. He drags me out to the shrine, where he tells me the whole school found out about him and Miss Kano, and now they're making her go to Kyushu to teach. This really does feel like the plot of Domestic Girlfriend. I take my opportunity to tell Kenji to leave Tatsumi Port, and he agrees with me? After Fuka gives me the best compliment of my life, I realize I missed a request. I was supposed to talk to Akihiko on the 16th to get some protein for Liz, but oh well. Hopefully they fix that and reload. I decide to grab some coffee since it's the weekend, and fail at studying on account of being tired. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 20th. Let's get going. Mitsuru visits us in class and says that Ikutsuki will be coming to the dorms tonight, so we should make sure to be there. On the way back, I run into Yukari and Fuka playing with best boy Kotomaru. Some random lady comes up and lord dumps on him. And then we start our meeting with Ikutsuki. Hello, everyone. He says that there are 12 shadows, one for each full moon of the year, and that we'll have to be on our guard. Mitsuru also seems like she knows something about the existence of Tartarus. After the meeting, I ask him for a lens wipe, and then go play the quiz game and sleep. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 21st. Let's get going. I'm a little sick today. And I've got no plans today, except... They're selling a land badge today on TV for like $300. Thankfully, I have like $800, so I buy it. I notice Maya sent me some messages on Innocent Sin, so I hop on to play with her. But she says she's busy. She rejoins quickly and says she was on the phone with her mom, who's trying to get her married. I put the moves on and say we should get married. Engaging in tradition as old as time. Internet dating. Maya mentioned she might be a little older, and that she got drunk at the mall the other night and got harassed. Now I'm even more intrigued, as this means she's in Tatsumi Port Island, so I may end up meeting her IRL. I make sure to remember there's an older guy at Polonia at night, and log off for the day. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 22nd. Let's get going. Junpei gets called down in class and asks for my help, but I'm at a loss too, and I just guess. After class, I hang with Liz, and she takes me on a trip through Iwatotai Station. We explore the escalator, the manhole, and then end up at the station square, where she wants to try every restaurant in the area. After like, the seventh meal, I start to feel sick to my stomach, so we call it. I get a fortune to deepen my relationship with Maya, and get lucky to find 10,000 yen in the envelope. I end the night with some karaoke and studying and then witness a rare Dark Hour event. Yosuke from Persona 4 is here, and awake in the Dark Hour. What the hell is this? He's being accosted by Jesus and the goth lolly I couldn't find the other day. Assassin Jesus shoots Spider-Man, and that ends the night. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 23rd. Let's get going. Kenji's bitch mate, so I decide to help Chihiro with her homework. The kids sitting across from us think we're flirting, then weirdly start flirting themselves. And Chihiro shows us why she's part of student council. She doesn't like kissing. Meanwhile, Shinjiro and Akihiko are hanging out. I'll have what he's having. You always eat that protein shit. So, I guess our Tartarus adventure will be akihiko -less. I get to floor 59, and damn, this is way harder without Akihiko. It also doesn't help that the mini boss knows not only mind charge, but dime level skills. 
After getting wiped more times than I want to admit, I decide to grind to 20 in the earlier floors, and end up summoning Narcissus for the Frolic Fusion spell. Unfortunately, Frolic is just straight up dog shit dookie diarrhea garbage ass piece of shit move that doesn't do anything except get me killed. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today is June 24th. Let's get going. At lunch, Yuko comes up and guilt trips me into helping her coach the little rascals. She seems to be pretty good with kids, so I don't understand why I'm here, but I'll take all the hangout time I can get. She asked me my opinion on if the kids could win the race, and I'll reply with the most milk toast fence sitting answer I can, and I guess Yuko agreed. Later on, I run into that guy Maya was talking about, and it turns out to be big man Tanaka himself. Apparently he's looking for a super hot dude, so I guess I should start drinking more coffee. I get back to my room and find my land badge came. Tenji also calls and asks to hang out, but Sundays are now reserved for Maya until further notice. I end the night with a little study session. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 25th. Let's get going. Edogawa's filling in for another teacher, which means it's time for another lesson on magic. I actually kind of dig that Edogawa's lessons are longer than the other teachers. It makes it feel like you're supposed to be paying attention to this cool subject that I got called on for. Thankfully, I was paying attention and get the right answer. And now it's time for our weekly dive into the madness that is Kenji's social link. He says he's leaving! <laughs> Unfortunately, he catches a glimpse of Miss Kano talking to what seems to be her fiancé. Like every other teenager, he thinks the world is over, and I can't help but kick the piece of sh- I mean, I mean man, when he's down. Apparently laughing at him for crying was the right call, as he runs off so I don't have to deal with him for the rest of the day. Instead, I go check out the antique shop because I notice I've been getting gemstones, and find out I can just complete this quest. I go karaoke, my courage gets raised to tough, and I study before bed. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 26th. Let's get going. I decided to head to practice today, and Kazushi seems fired up. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, nothing eventful happens at practice, so I head back to the dorms. Akihiko leaves as soon as I get there, which sucks, because I really wanted to go to Tartarus today. I notice Ikutsuki is telling his bad jokes again, so I go to check the cameras and find there's a recording. We see what looks like Junpei's room, and Mitsuru tells Officer Kurosawa she hasn't heard from him in 30 minutes. I think he's probably in the bathroom or something, but he shows up to correct the record. Apparently it got too hot in his room, so he went to a manga cafe and fell asleep. Mitsuru doesn't understand teenage boys, and assumes that Junpei's room has been burglarized, so Junpei has to come clean and say he lives in filth. After questioning why there are cameras in her rooms, I shrug it off, get some coffee, and study for the night. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 27th. Let's get going. I hang out with Chihiro in the library after class, then take a piss when I get back to the dorm. I want to go to Tartarus, but Fuka lectures me on Poinsettia beforehand. Today's the day I get to the top of Arca. I even fuse Oberon and clear a couple quests. After re-equipping everyone, seriously, who told them to change equipment? I engage with the Emperor Arcana mini-boss, and quickly realize I'm severely underleveled. Mind Charge and Maga Ruler are insanely cracked for where I am level-wise, and after what may be the single most worst attempt at this boss by anybody, I resummon the Narcissus I used to fuse Oberon. As Narcissus, while it is weak to physical, the only persona I currently have access to that resists wind, and apparently the boss can be charmed. I don't know why Mitsuru didn't attempt it at all in the runs that I did, but I win the first run I attempt using charm. The remaining floors in Arca weirdly have few enemies, so I quickly hit the top and call it. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 28th. Let's get going. It's Sunday, and you know what that means. Tanaka's selling a set of boxing gloves and some jelly, and this might be the easiest purchase I've made yet. After emptying my wallet, I decided to play with Maya for the rest of the day. She seems pretty pissed off at a Mr. E and calls him an SOB. I ask who Mr. E is and she outright says he's a teacher with seniority over her. Wait, if Mr. E is a teacher and Maya's from Tatsumi Port Island and she's a teacher and she brings up my reading comprehension, is Maya Miss Toriyumi? <laughs> Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 29th. Let's get going. I start the day with the news that exams are in two weeks. Junpei gets asked how toilets flush in Australia, and I don't know either, so we both look like stooges. 
At lunch, Kazushi comes up to me, so I guess today's a good day to go to practice. I run into Fuka on the way there, and it turns out I need to be a badass to talk to her. Some JV members are shit-talking Kazushi, so Yuko comes up and scares him away. She says the coach wants to talk to Kaz, so I decide it's time to head home. On the way, he catches me and says that the coach is concerned, and that he'll do anything, even damage his knee permanently, to keep his promise. And he wants me to be the new captain if he does. At the dorm, Yukari and Fuka are chatting about ten years ago. Meanwhile, I found a crane game at the mall, so I dumped way too much money into it trying to win the silly piggy bank. I even go and sell some stuff to pay for my crippling gambling addiction, and I finally pull one before hitting up Mandragora and studying before bed. Welcome to Persona Every Day. Today's June 30th. Let's get going. Chihiro and I do some studying in the library again today. It's a relatively slow day, so I hit up Mandragora and go home. My box came, which is good. Akihiko is going to love his new equipment. I study a bit before another dark hour event. Hi! Pharaoh shows up and hits me with the same old Prepare for doom he does every other half moon. He disappears, and I get a good night's rest. Welcome to the Sunday. Did you guys ever pick up a